Hey guys, I'm Cooper Childers and this is Kyle Clark. We're going to give you a few reminders, but first, please join us in the pledge. Stand up. Hand over your heart. And be respectful. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay guys, if you're wanting to change your schedule, you need to get on top of things because schedule changes start on Monday and they continue until December 18th. That's not much time, so if you have a good reason for needing to change classes, then schedule a time to meet with your counselor as soon as possible. Also, there will be financial aid workshop will be held Thursday, December 18th at 6.30 p.m. in the library. All students seeking need based financial assistance must fill out the free application for federal student aid. Also, all senior A-plus students. Completion of the FAFSA is required for A-plus eligibility. Getting student loans, federal grants, and scholarships play a huge role in paying for college, and it's a lot sooner than you think. One specific scholarship that I know of is the GV Band Parent Association Scholarship. They're offering two $500 scholarships. To apply, students must have been in a member of GVHS Instrumental Musical Program or in a similar program for at least two consecutive years. Another scholarship that I can think of is the PTA Teacher Education Scholarship. If you're planning to pursue a career in teaching, please stop by the Guidance and Counseling Center and leave your name for the Missouri PTA Education Scholarship opportunity. Those are just some of the scholarships. There are a ton of local scholarship options and more, but the deadlines are going to sneak up on you if you don't start applying soon. The local scholarship deadline is February 17th. Speaking of deadlines, you seniors need to turn in one baby picture and one senior picture for the graduation slide. If you are graduating at semester, you must have the pictures before December 19th. But if you aren't graduating at semester, we need your pictures by April 17th. You can turn photos into Cami Porter, Molly McDaniel, or Ms. McElwain. Next announcement we have is for any high school girls interested in playing high school soccer this spring. Right after we are done with the announcement, you will meet with Coach Balistrieri and Coach Lamb in the auditorium and bring a pencil or pen. This week after school, students in elementary and middle school will be participating in the Hour of Code. The Hour of Code? Well, it's a program that wants to help get students interested in coding and to open their knowledge about computer science. This program is also wanting to invite teachers, so any teachers that would like to participate in the Hour of Code after school, be there. And now for our last announcement. Wait, wait. Oh. <clears throat> Just in, Miss Brown's Drama Club Holiday Party is Thursday, December 18th after school. Bring a snack to share and $5 for your white Christmas movie ticket. Also, Overdue notices in the library are now off paper, so you have to check your email every day just in case you have an overdue book. Okay, and now we have our last announcement, and it may be one of the most important of all. It's about candy canes. And toilet paper. Let's start with the candy canes, though. NHS is selling candy canes to help raise money for THON. I don't know if you guys remember how much fun it was last year, but we're wanting to make it even better this year. By purchasing the very decorated candy canes for only $1, you are helping THON become a bigger and better success. You can also buy these candy canes for a friend and have it delivered to them while in class. You will make their day. Why not make somebody's day for a dollar? I'd do if I were you. I know I'm planning on buying one for uh, Skylar Anderson. Okay, so the last announcement is about toilet paper. This is also an NHS event. Basically, we are raising toiletry items so we can make sure that families living on food stamps are able to have toilet paper, toothbrushes, floss, shampoo, and etc. But being the awesome school we are, we're going to do it in a fun way. In the commons, we plan on building a giant toilet paper tree with deodorant, soap, floss, and all that stuff as ornaments. But we need your help donating these items. There will be a star that we can try to build our tree to reach. And if we do reach it, then we may have a movie day in our extended Eagle Time next Friday. So bring toilet paper and other toilet paper items so we can supply toiletries for the less fortunate and watch movies in Eagle Time. Don't forget, buy candy canes and bring in toilet paper. That's all we have for today's announcements. You're free to continue your Eagle Time lessons. See you next week.